find the bilinear transformation which maps the points z1 equal to 2, z2 equal to iota and z3 equal to negative 2 into the points w1 equal to 1, w2 equal to iota and w3 equal to negative 1. Here we have to find the bilinear transformation, right? The same example we have already done in the previous content. And now I'm going to solve this example by using the another method which will be much easier. So let's start with the solution. So the points are given to us Z1, Z2, Z3 and W1, W2, W3. And here we are going to take the transformation W is equal to AZ plus B over CZ plus D. So one by one we are going to put these points as Z1, W1 in let's name this as 1. So first we put the points Z1 and W1 in place of Z and W here. And then we put the points Z2 and W2, then Z3 and W3 respectively. And from here we get three equations. And on solving those three equations, we get the values of A, B, C, D, right? And after getting the values of A, B, C, D, we put these values in this transformation. So that will be the required transformation, right? Okay, so let's start putting the values one by one. So first putting Z1 equal to 2 in place of Z and W1 equal to 1 in place of W, right? Okay, so W becomes W1 that is 1 is equal to, so Z is, for Z1 it is 2. So this is 2A plus B over 2C plus D. So you will see that we are getting the equation in terms of A, B, C, D. So likewise, we get three equations in terms of A, B, C, D and we have to get the values of A, B, C, D, right? So that we can put those values in 1. Okay, so from here we get taking 2C plus D to the other side, we get the equation as 2A plus B minus 2C minus D equal to 0. Let's name this equation as 2. So we get this as iota is equal to az plus b. So that is a iota plus b over cz plus t. So z here is z2. So c iota plus d. So from here we get the equation a iota plus b plus C minus D iota is equal to 0 because iota square will become negative 1. So C iota square will become negative C and that will get to the other side as positive C. Let's name this equation as 3. And then putting the value Z3 equal to negative 2 and W3 equal to negative 1, we get negative 1 is equal to negative 2a plus b over negative 2c plus d so that will give us 2a minus b plus 2c minus d yes this is equal to 0 and naming this as equation 4 so we have to first if we add equation 2 and 4 we get so on adding this, so this will go and this will also go. So I get 4a minus 2d equal to 0. And from here I get 2a equal to d. That is a is equal to d over 2. Right? Okay. Next, if I subtract 4 from 2, then we get... So when you subtract, this will go and this will go. So we get 2b minus 4c is equal to 0. That will give us b is equal to 2c, right? Then from 3, we get just writing a iota as it is. Plus, we can put the value of b as 2c plus c minus and the value of d is just writing this 2a so this is iota equal to 0 
and we get this as 3c minus this will be a iota equal to 0 and we get 3c is equal to a iota right so from here i can say that a is equal to 3c over iota right so thus we get the equations as from here we get 2a is equal to d and then from here we get b is equal to 2c and at last we get 3c is equal to a iota so these relations can be put in the form writing a in terms of b first that is what is a in terms of d d over 2 what is a in terms of c from here we can see that this is 3c over iota and what is a in terms of b we do not have any relation of a with b but we know that b is twice of c and a iota is thrice of c from here we can write a iota equal to thrice and we can get the value of c in terms of b as b over 2 and now from here i can say that a is equal to 3b over 2 iota so now i get the value of a as in terms of b as 3b over 2 iota which can further be written as a over 1 this is d over 2 this is c over iota over 3 and this is equal to b over 2 by 3 iota so now putting these values of a d c b in 1 so from 1 we get w equal to a z plus b over c z plus d now putting the values of a b c d from here so writing a as 1 so this is z plus writing b as 2 iota over 3 writing c as iota over 3 so this is iota over 3z plus writing d as 2 so on taking the lcm we get 3z plus 2 iota over 3 and this will be 3 over iota z plus 6 so finally we get the value of w as this 3 3 will go so this is 3 z plus 2 iota over iota z plus 6 which is same as before we have done in the previous content right all right thank you god bless you all